Oh god. Oh! What's oh! 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 What happened? That was really frightening, actually. Welcome to the video, my friends, and today we're going to cover something in DayZ that a lot of you I've noticed have been mentioning in the comment sections previously, and that is AI missions. They are getting closer and closer to becoming a reality and working just as we used to have them in Armor 2 Wasteland, Armor 3, and all the other DayZ variant mods where we had AI missions and something else for you to fight against. So we are joined by Crewfro and One Leg from the Waste Z community who are working on improving the AI and doing a lot of testing. Feel free to join their server, the Waste Z server. I will leave the IP and our Discord information all in the links in the description below for you to check out and join and give feedback to them via their Discord. They are located in the Zelenogorsk area at the moment and they do roam about, you'll see in this footage. And we do a little bit of an interview Q&A with the team, uh, with the two uh, Pro Fro and One Leg, and a bit of gameplay, a bit of interactions, and some nice shots checking out the AI in action. Don't forget to smash that like button if you enjoy the content I create, or hit that dislike button if you don't like the content I create. Subscribe and enjoy the video. So, what are your guys' roles within the? Uh, yeah. Yeah, the this thing you're doing with the AI and things like that. Yeah, so, well, we're the owners of the server, so we went in on it together. We used to run servers together back in the day, and I think one, like, used to run a uh, Arma 2 server. Uh, For, like, a brief bit. That was, like, a yeah. really, like, small thing. Oh, that, that was mainly... Okay. That was mainly... Uh, Well, I feel... Depends on what you're referring to. It happened a couple times, but um, if you're referring yeah. to, like, the one that transitioned to, you know, what we ended up running, then that was a yeah, yeah, yeah. mod server for a couple months there, and... And that moved into a Minecraft server for a little bit, then yeah, Gmod, and now here we are, years later. Yeah, but we're but, the um, server operators, and the mod is something that we're actively configuring and experimenting with. It originates from a few Russian Daisy communities that have this mod running on their servers, um, some of which are really impressive. Some of those Russian servers are incredible. The level of customization they go into, and oh my gosh. Some of the Russian mods, they're extremely talented. Yeah, so uh, we actually reached out and we had to do a lot of this, you know, uh, back and some forth. Some of them know pretty good English, but it's it's like a lot of back and forth. There's a bit of a language barrier, but essentially we were able to contact the developer um, of a bot mod that was running on one of their servers because I was essentially, I was joining all these Russian servers and I was trying to like get in with the communities and the discords and I was just running everything through Translate and... um and eventually I was able to find a server because I was kind of looking for inspiration. I was like, what are these guys doing? I'm loving the unique thing that they're providing. Why can't we provide that here in the United States or for, you know, European servers? Or why can't we do that like over here? Yeah, for sure. And um, eventually I stumbled across the uh, bot mod and they had i think they were running bandits up in tissy so you'd go up to tissy shoot and the bandits would be alerted and would you know shoot at you and that was just incredible and i was like oh my gosh we got to get this how do we get this and we eventually found the developer of the mod and um one leg and i we were reaching out to him and he was able to get us a copy of the server side mod and then there's a client framework that goes alongside that so the client framework has all the sounds uh, the sound files and then our server uh handles the load of the ai so that guy's been really helpful he's been putting out patches and whatnot and we communicate with him on that yeah it's, it's great when um other modders like really help you out and they seem really friendly as well the russian side of the community like yeah, super, oh yeah. super friendly Definitely. and helpful i've never had one that's not been up for helping me and you know showing me how everything works like yeah, well, really i get nice that with people. a lot of people though really to be honest in the, in the daisy modding community everybody's mm -hmm. been super nice and helpful I mean, there, there are those that will make something and, you know, try and profit off of it and not, you know, share their knowledge and things like that. That happens with everything. Yeah. But, you no, know, it's so nice when, when people are like, no, 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 sure, take this and experiment and then see what you can do. So I guess right. the idea for you is, like we've said, a lot of people have asked about AI, and I don't think it was possible before 1.8. I think 1.08 added some code that allowed AI if to work properly because i know it's been done before but they didn't do anything they just stood there yeah. you give them basic commands but they couldn't hold a weapon or anything until one um we we were able to get the uh ai working in a pretty decent state um pretty late until 1.7 uh when 108 
came out, it actually broke them temporarily, but I think that was because of what you were referencing with 108. They did add some functionality that, yeah, not not just for AI, but kind of just like the whole modding scene uh, in general. It added like a lot more, I guess, uh, breathing room, I guess would be the easy way to say it, uh, just for a lot of stuff. Kind of like how yeah, Bohemia right. rolled out like their, um, their libraries for the helicopters before that was possible. Um, yeah, I guess it's a similar thing there. But um, in terms of... Uh, in terms of the actual configuration of the bots, I mean, we've been doing our best to uh, kind of figure out what we we want to do with them and kind of take them uh, where we can because, there, like Cruz said, there is the language barrier, and there there is also the matter of they're trying to run their own servers. So it's not it's not like a matter where uh, this guy is like a dedicated developer for us, but we have managed to like form a bit of a relationship there where we kind of like. Like help each other out in a way, I guess is, is yeah. a, a way that you would. Look yeah, at like it. you were saying, it's um, like that exchange of information and yeah, that's that right, like yeah. pre exchange of information. That's like really like, that's what's gonna fuel the Daisy community. I'm really into that. Yeah, well, I see um, it all the time, like with expansion and things like that. It's it's really yeah. really nice to see the community working together to achieve. And you know, you get the community into a server. Like um, when we first tested the trader mod, we had just the whole community in testing, giving feedback to the the, the modder that created it. And it was just, yeah. you know, they're just helping. And that's what's amazing about the community. They all band together. And Daisy community is yeah. kind of unique in that way. That, like, above everybody else that, that I've seen, that, yeah. that everybody's there for each other. And the passion is, like you said earlier, you're really passionate about it. That there's a lot of that in the within the community, you know? Um, yeah. So what what is your plan for the AI? Like, what what what's your end goal for, for implementing AI? And what do you want to do and achieve? Um... Well, the way the way I see it, um, AI are just kind of like a, a small puzzle piece in, in a, I guess, an otherwise grander picture. Um, Crew was telling telling you a little bit uh, about how we kind of have the dynamic zones planned and how ideally the system would just kind of cycle them through, similar to how you would see with like a wasteland system, like, a, I don't know, like a, a drug running mission has popped up. It would be something similar to that, like a, a new banded AI compound has popped up. We've done a couple events already yeah. where we like manually do some map edits and it's like predetermined stuff and there's like uh respawning loot caches there with uh ai patrols and some stationary guards and we you know tell players like hey there's there's some stuff here go for that but um i think i think what really defines ai and will you know what will really allow them to shine is when we get the mission system itself more ironed out um, the mission system that we're going for is, I guess, going to be a little bit more of like an RPG style thing uh, where you like approach a, an NPC and he kind of like gives you like a little dialogue prompt. But uh, just just like a little part of that is we plan to have like these areas around the map that are kind of like, I guess, pre-designated to be like mission zones and we'll have like some AI guards there. But right. like when missions get activated, we're going to have like AI like run in and kind of occupy the area more and provide that challenge for the mission yeah. itself. I suppose you could do like collect a certain object from that zone. You got to fight your way and get it, get it back mm -hmm. and then hand it back into yeah. that, the AI that you got the mission off of. That, that could work. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, that's, that's basically essentially yeah, we're, what we're. Yeah, sorry. exactly. Like we're flushing that out. It's all good. Yeah. I mean, in terms of AI, uh, eventually at some point we would like to see things like vehicle patrols and, um, you know, more ironed out, like different class systems. Uh, like right now, something that we have working in kind of like an experimental fashion is a sniper AI. And he's a little weird um, because the long range detection for AI can mm -hmm. be a little messed up sometimes uh, to the point where sometimes he'll just see a player, he'll go prone, but he just won't shoot at them. So that's kind of something we're trying to iron out more. But when he yeah. does decide to work, he, he kind of goes a little ham but it's it's uh yeah it's it, he's either like too yeah. insane or just not working at all right now but yeah. ideally yeah just like other like random things we're trying to get the ai to a point that you would expect i guess from like arma yeah definitely mm -hmm. yeah yeah we, we're doing a lot of stress testing like with the users we're trying to g gather user feedback like what do you like about the bots what don't you like about the bots and how can we make them better but still like the right balance of challenging uh, so it's like we're going to strike that balance. Eventually, we'll strike the balance. We'll get the dynamic AI. I'm, like, super excited. I'm hyped. So would you want, like, more people, like, more people the better to, to come over and jump on the server and test and give you feedback? Jump in your Discord and things I mean, like that? I mean, 
That'd be super exciting. I mean, for one thing, we're a, we're a new server. Uh, we started up in in May is when we launched the server. And technically, we were in like a bit of a closed May. beta there for a, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, like but... March, March and April, we were in a, a closed beta where we just had like people we knew coming in on the server and testing it for us. But we really went public in May. And um, yeah, we really aspire to like have this like little flourishing community where we're gathering feedback, we're improving it, you know, we're improving the system, we're implementing new ideas, and we've got like a back, uh, we've got a base of people to help us out with that. And um, we just recently hit uh, 20 players on the server, which I was <laughs> yeah. so excited about. I was really I excited remember about that too. I like didn't know, like when we were starting the server, I thought like, oh man, you know, it's just you and I right now, we're just sitting out here AFK yeah. trying to start it, like hoping someone's gonna join the server. I'm really excited. I'm really excited, like, that the excitement there is there, you know, like the hype is there, you know. Oh, like, yeah, that definitely like... is that. I couldn't count how many times somebody's mentioned AI. Like, when's AI coming? We want AI missions. I mean, I know AI is not the be all and end all. It's Daisy. It's about survival. But AI can yeah. add that extra bit of, you know, interactivity with the world when maybe an mm -hmm. empty server, for instance, you know, like my server, for instance, like it's a real struggle to build a server back up again. So we get like. Yeah. 20 players maybe um on a good day um mm -hmm. myself and uh cool it's uh to have ai though as an extra you know objective for players to do when the server may be a little bit empty uh plus that objective those players are gonna kind of gather if there's good loot to be had and ai to kill and you know a bit of pvp but a risk for reward um right, it's, it's a yeah. great thing so you know even for a, a less busy server it's a, it's a great option to have um, for players, for something to do if, you know, it gets too quiet for them. I think it's oh, yeah. it's a bonus in, in many ways. There we go, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this little sneak peek at AI Bandits in DayZ on the Waste Z server. Big thank you to Crew and One Leg for taking us through there. They're extremely passionate about what they, they're doing here with the AI. And obviously it was sourced from uh, Russian community. But, uh, they're very much being uh, helped along here. And, you know, it's, it's very nice to see the community is working together like this to deliver the best possible mods we can and what people are asking for as there are plenty out there that keep poking for the ai missions and it looks like they're coming on a long way so animations still need a bit tweaking and as we saw pathfinding isn't perfect yet sometimes they can be really good and follow their paths that they've been set shoot you on site they'll trace you down they'll even follow you sneakily and then shoot you when you're least expecting it they do talk as well hopefully there's a little bit of a clip here with the russian dialogue Pretty good so far. It's pretty exciting. I cannot wait until we've got the roaming dynamic AI with their vehicles and their camp placements being random around the map and then a mission popping up and you go there for the epic loot. Would work really well for Wasteland, but time will tell. Of course, AI missions aren't for everybody. Uh, the vanilla Daisy experience is uh, a lot of people love, but there are a lot of people that love these mods. So of course, it's not going to be for maybe you looking right now at this video, but uh, you that's watching this video, it may be just what you want. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy the content I create. Don't forget to check out in the links below to the Discord of Waste Z. If you want to test out, they're more than welcome for you guys to give feedback in their Discord and check the server out. And uh, maybe you'll find some bugs they didn't realize, and you can uh, give them a little tip and point them in the right direction and uh, get this thing rolled out so more and more people can enjoy it and uh, see the full potential of Daisy modding and what AI can offer. I'm just impressed the gun. They could even use guns. They run around to use guns, they fight the infected, everything. They even parkour. Like, they're not even told to do that, they just do it. It's really weird, like, they seem sentient in a way, which is kind of freaky. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video anyway. I love you all, and I'll see you peeps next time.